Welcome back. Time now 923. Well, right now, concerns remain for MoDOT funding. MoDOT officials have said some of the roads they service will start getting limited maintenance because they just won't have the money. And there's been talk about possible funding solutions. Most recently, lawmakers have been looking at raising the gas tax by two cents, but it looks like that could be stalling. Joining me today to talk more about this issue is presiding Boone County Commissioner Dan Atwell. Dan, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Um, this funding issue is something a lot of city and county leaders have been looking at because it's, it deals with infrastructure and Boone County could certainly see an impact because MoDOT has roads that are right here in the county, right? Absolutely, and uh, not only that, but we receive some of the funding from uh, the collection of that tax should it become effective. Uh, without it, uh, we're going to see a lot of changes in our road uh, maintenance issues. Uh, what are you already strategizing? What's the county looking at? I mean, it's looking like this gas tax is going to stall. Is there a backup solution if you don't get that money? Well, interestingly, uh, jurisdictional responsibilities are divided from state, in this case uh, also the city, and the county. So the responsibilities of the state are entirely different than the county or the city. For example, the state maintains Providence Road and Stadium Boulevard. Uh, those are not responsibilities of either the city or the county, but uh, obviously we all use those. Yes. So uh, the time may come when those roads are in very desperate need of improvements that cannot be funded by the state. Uh, so we will, we will face that problem. I don't know that we will have any financial responsibility or financial ability to deal with those issues. But uh, they're headed our way. And in the absence of a solution by the legislature at this point, uh, we're going to face some tough times ahead with our roads. What do you think in terms of, I mean, you're for the gas tax, raising it the two cents. Yes, absolutely. What do you think, I mean, is there anything that voters can do? Should they reach out to their <laughs> legislators? What should they do? That's the one thing they can do, is to contact their legislators and say, we're concerned that uh, you aren't finding a solution to the road issues that we face, and we don't want to have our roads deteriorate any further. We need responsible government. This is really embarrassing as a governmental uh, problem because we should be able to solve this problem. And uh, I'm sad to say that we're, we're headed down a, a route that is worse than where we are now, and I, I, it could be solved so easily. And this tax is looking to generate as much as $80 million for the state, but we were talking it's not a whole lot of money, really, when you think about it. No, uh, that is a relatively small amount. That's a two-cent tax on a per-gallon basis. Now, Iowa just passed a 10-cent gallonage tax. Um, Illinois and Kansas both spend a lot more on their roads than we do. So uh, we are the lowest in the, st in the nation on our gas tax. So it, it's, it's easy to say, let's do that. And you, you were saying that in this particular tax, you would, the county would get a cut of the money, as a lot of counties would here, right? All the counties would share in a, in a, a piece of the tax that would be assessed in this fashion. But it would be very small in relative terms because of the number of counties and the, and the size of our state. But any penny helps right now when sure. dealing with infrastructure. Sure, sure. Well, Dan, thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate you, as always, coming on our show and sharing.